Oh, lovely. But almost like the chickens will literally just fall off the bone. Um, like you could eat it with a spoon. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insight where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. So what I'm going to be doing for this, I'm going to be boiling up some chicken and I'm going to try and lightly grill it, like not pro you guys will see what I mean, I'll just try and burn the skin slightly or like roast the skin slightly and then turn that into a stew. Let me just switch this back on, let it start to heat back up. But then first things first is to boil the chicken. So I'm just going to add a bit of water so that the chicken doesn't instantly stick to this like bottom of the pot. And I'm just going to add the chicken in as I go. So I'm going to add in a bit more water. And I like to add quite a bit of water because I like to have like a broth left over by the time the chicken's finished boiling. So we're going to start with the onions and we're going to put quite a few of the onions here. Get a bit of the shallots, get some of the garlic as well, a bit more onions. And then the rest of the onions are going to be for the tomato sauce. Now I tend to like a bit of spice in my chicken. So I'm just going to put some um, chili flakes as well. And then to add into that spicy flavor as well, we're going to add some white pepper. Then as usual, I am going to add some black pepper. So again, all the chilies. That smells so good, guys. And then now we're going to add in like that additional seasoning. So we'll start off with a bit of no, then the chicken seasoning. While the chicken is cooking, I am going to start to prepare the tomato sauce for the stew. Okay, hands are clean. These have been rinsed. And you don't have to chop them up this small, by the way. I just like to do that. Last tomato shall live to see another day. And I'm going to take a majority of now this onion, garlic, and shallots mix. We're going to add this in there as well. I'm going to take one of these chilies. And this is also going to go in there. In addition to a scotch bonnet and a bell pepper, a red bell pepper. As you guys can tell, I like my chili, but this is just to give a bit of variety in the in the flavors of chili that is in the stew. Because this chili is a, it's a tad bit sweeter than a scotch bonnet, but a scotch bonnet is very flavorful, if that makes sense. Wow, that looks really good, guys. That smells so good as well. Oh, lovely. I think I'm going to skip the step where I lightly grill the chicken. And what I basically meant by that is taking out all the liquid from the pot or from the pan and then just leaving the chicken in there for like two minutes so that the skin sears a bit, if that makes sense. But I am way too tired and to do that tonight. I'm just going to have my chicken boiled. Now, what that means is this is basically like a traditional one pot recipe. So now I've got this chicken in here, I've got the juices in here and I've got my pepper blend. So once I've blended this together, I can just pour this tomato sauce in there and then leave it all to cook together. And I've got to say I am loving the size of this mortar cooker because I can leave it out on the counter all the time and even when I'm cooking I can move around it. So you see you can still see bits of the pepper and stuff in there and that's kind of how I like it. Different people have different preferences. Some people will really cook it so it's fine. Some people would add more bell peppers just so the stew is a bit redder. I'm also going to add in the rest of this as well. Oh, spoon's dropped in there. Oh dear. See, I'm just going to reduce this. Okay, so as you guys can see, the chicken is basically, the sauce is super thick. Um, and you'll notice, like, some of the chicken bits, this chicken is totally overcooked. Um, but that's cool. Because what most people do is they cook the sauce separately and then they add the chicken in. By almost like the chicken to literally just fall off the bone. Um, like you could eat it with a spoon. It looks like the chicken has been sticking to the bottom of the pan in some stages. So, like, you see on there. And again, so be mindful of that, except I don't mind because it kind of gives me the crispy chicken I wanted, I hope. But yeah, this is basically done. I just switched the chicken off now and I'm just going to wait for that to cool down. Um, let's see how this goes. Let's see. So I just love that, like it comes straight off the bone.
Okay, that is really nice. And again, you guys might think it's too much chili, but you, all you have is just a slight tip of like pepper. Okay, I guess it depends on your tolerance with like peppers. I'm going to use my hands. But all you have is like a slight kick in there. Like a little after like... Mm. I'm going to go clean the bone. On that note, I am going to wrap up this video. So please remember to thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've used a more to cook a like this. What your thoughts are. Or just say hi if you're new to this channel. Anyways, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Um, Comment, like, subscribe. God bless you. Jesus loves you. May the spirit of God be with you. I don't know if you guys can see all that flaky, crispy chicken nest there. Y'all, this is going to be hot, 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 hot. How the chicken is looking. Oh, that smells so good. That kind of smells like KFC chicken wings.